going on there? Looks like the church itself may not have been breached yet. I do say yet. For the short amount of time. Grand sight. went through. Every last one of these classrooms is just ransacked.
It goes beyond destruction and decimation. There is desperation. Utter desperation. Utter desperation. And the building is just completely defenseless. Completely defenseless. No one's coming to save it. Nobody cares enough. I didn't say they didn't care. But no, they don't care enough. Not enough to make a difference. Not enough to actually do something. Committed to excellence, no excuse. Remember what he said? Yeah. Took that commitment with him. On down the road. All oh, these gates just open. Waiting for a child to fall through it. Hey, even the birds are circling, they know something. Even the birds know. Yes, there's death here, there's death. Beyond destruction and decimation. To utter desperation and desecration. You don't have a once sanctified building like this. Blessed property. Holy ground. whole mess. That's what it is now. A whole mess. I took a video three years ago. Newscasters and everybody begged folks to come fix this, do something about it, reclaim this property, fix it up. I remember my brother who lived right across the street would take his riding lawnmower and cut this grass so that the children could play. He saw it was going down. Ten years ago, he, summer after summer, would cut the grass and would do little projects out here. And now it's just a winter runt. Look at it. Back to nature for real, for real. I don't know that nature wants it. Nature don't want this. It's too much, too polluted. Even nature don't want it. It's just open. I ain't going back up in there. You tell me who all, or what all is back up in there. I remember I was trying to get those buildings to do aquaponics, urban gardening. No, they didn't want to let it go. And now it's just run and open. Ain't nobody doing nothing with it. I was trying to get the, that rectory part and that residential part for returning citizens, get it fixed up, reclaim this property, have them out here taking care of this land and growing food on it and doing hydroponics. Wouldn't nobody get behind me on that. Now look at it. I guess I hadn't been in Flint 50 years. You got to be here long enough, and I guess, you know, or bring millions of dollars of money with you, or your family got to be born here, and I don't know. It's a, it's a way station, and I'm ready to go, because this, I just, this is a mess. I remember this was a football field, soccer field. You could play on it for real and have a good time. There used to be a walking track around here. You'd be hard-pressed to find it now. It's overgrown.